Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm back, Air Force Shields. It's been a while since I did a video. Been very busy um, with work and just been playing games, catching up on a lot of um, games I have that haven't had a chance to play. So I've spent a lot of time just um, completing a lot of games that I have in my backlog um, and, and having fun. But it's time for another video. It's been a while. Um, these are going to be the pickups that cover everything from January and February. So I have a lot of stuff to show you. Um, a lot of stuff I have is um, I got more than what I'm going to show you, but a lot of it I've traded it off already to get other things I need, which you'll see some of those items in the March pickup video. But let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you, uh, my boy Jose, um, our Rob 78, he hooked it up. Um, he, he found something that I needed and he picked it up for me. And I'm still amazed at the condition of, of this item. But he found a Capcom fighter stick for the Sega Genesis. He found this for me. And what's crazy about it is the controller is basically brand new. Like no one ever used it. Excellent condition. Um, very hard to find this in the box. So I was very happy that he was able to scoop it up. And what was strange about it is I thought I had this game. Um, Street Fighter 2 Special, Champion, Special Championship Edition. I thought I had this, but for some reason I didn't. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I had Super Street Fighter, um, but I didn't have this. Uh, it was perfect because this came with the uh, controller. So he hooked me up, and I was definitely happy about that. Um, another item that I, that I got, well, a lot of items, but another item that I, I got at uh, that Goodwill, a Goodwill that's close to my work, I usually go there every now and then to so check out and see what they have. And usually when they get items in the back, um, I kind of know when they're going to put them out. Just talking to people there, converse with them. They kind of let you know, hey, we should brown items this time. So I, usually, I usually try to check out Goodwill during my lunch break when I have some free time. But I was happy I, I went this day because I was able to get a Nintendo. It had Rob, had Rob the Robot. Um, it had most of its accessories. I'm missing the, the saucers. And, uh, and the glasses that go in front of this, but those are easy to find. Uh, most of it I have here. And I found Rob the Robot and the Nintendo. And as you can see here, the price was, was only $19.99 um, for everything. So I was very happy about that. To get a Nintendo, Rob the Robot, most of the accessories. It had the light gun, two controllers, AC adapter. And also here's the games that were um, bundled with it. Very, very happy. Um, as, as everybody knows, Finding stuff at Goodwill for a good deal is getting harder and harder um, with them looking everything up on eBay or um, putting it on shop Goodwill. So, very, very happy to get that stuff. Um, very happy to get that stuff from Goodwill. My, uh, one of my, one of my good friends, and, and he's, he's been doing a lot of good stuff, and, and I'm very happy. He just hit a thousand subscribers. Um, Secret Game Stash. Um, um, he uh, he hooked me up. He uh, introduced me to a a store that was selling stuff for uh, for a very good price, and I was able to pick up all these items thanks to him. Um, he picked it up. He picked up the items for me because I couldn't go there to get them. I was at work doing some stuff, so he said, "Hey, hey, um, Kevin, can you uh, do you need any of these items?" He sent pictures to me, showing me what was at the store. And I told me I needed these items, and he hooked it up. So I definitely appreciate him for doing that. And I'll definitely put a link to his channel below. Check him out. Um, I love watching his uh, his um, pickup videos. Um, going to thrifts, going to not thrift stores, but to the swap meet, finding stuff out there. I haven't, I haven't gone to the swap meet on Saturday on a Saturday morning. It's been it's been months. So I definitely like watching his videos and and seeing what he's finding out there. Here's how MC picked up from that store. First one, Mad Dog McCree, Sega CD. I needed this game. And I love these cheesy light gun games. Aztec Adventure for the Sega Mass System. Um, Space Harrier 3D. Jack Nicholas Turbo Golf. And what's crazy, this game is still new. It's um, still brand new. There's a tear right here, but yeah, brand new. Gotta try that. Final Lap Twin, a game I thought I had, but I did not. This was the, the best deal there. I got Exile and Exile Wicked Phenomenon. I got both of those. Um, definitely happy to get these. I've, I've always wanted to play these games. And he was able to get these games for me for a steal. So very, very happy about that. Some, uh, some stuff for 32X. 
uh, Fred Couples, uh, great 36 Golf. Needed that. And some Game Gear games that he was able to pick up for me. It's, you don't see Game Gear games. Uh, it's hard to find them boxed or complete around here. So, a few that I needed. Devilish. World Class Leaderboard Golf. And also the great Joe Montana. Joe Montana Football. So, again, Secret Stash Game. Thanks for getting that stuff for me. I really, really appreciate it. So, earlier, um, very early in January... I had a chance to go to the Consumer Electronics Show, CES. Uh, my cousin, um, he works, he has a booth there, and his company has a lot of stuff going on with the CES. So, got me a vendor pass. I was able to check it out. Spent time with my uncle in Vegas. So, basically, I went down there, I think it was Thursday night um, to Vegas. Met up with my uncle, um, relatives down there. Spent Friday at CES and came back um, Friday night. So, this is a turn and burn. Um, turn and burn trip down there, but I was able to pick up some stuff. Some usual spots that I, I stopped at um, on my way to Vegas. I was able to grab some stuff that I uh, that I that I need or got for a good deal. So look, I picked up a few on complete Super Nintendo games. And they're getting harder and harder to find, so I picked this up. First one is Time Tracks. This game has jumped in value. I don't know why, but it's jumped in value. Um, the gameplay is not the greatest. It's all right, but it's no reason for it. To, no reason for it to be jumping in price the way it is. Another game, Street Combat. Not the best. <laughs> My favorite game. I had a three that I got. It was Acme um, Animation Factory. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is a uh, pretty fun. Um, you know, it, it was pretty cool. It's almost like Mario Paint, but better. So I had a lot of fun with that. Um, I picked those up. Got those for very cheap. Um, on my way to Vegas. Another game that I picked up in Vegas when I had some free time that I need for Sega CD was RDF Global Conflict. What's funny about this game, the game is still sealed. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. It's still sealed, but they had a price sticker on there for four ninety nine. So I was like, I knew that was wrong. I was like, four ninety nine, it can't be. But I said, I'm gonna buy it because I need it. I go take it to the cash register. They go look. They look up the price online. They try to change it on me. And um, I told them, you know, that's, that's bad customer service. You can't change the price. That's what the sticker states that the game sells for. Then that's what you're going to charge me. So after I talked to the manager, he sold it to me for four ninety nine. The price that was on the game. So I'm not going to mention the name of the store in Vegas or what, what store this was at. But I guess it's not needed. But it was just funny that they tried to change the price and look things up um, after I've taken it to the counter. So shady, shady business practices. But they did change the price. They didn't change the price. They hooked me up and gave it to me for the price that it was uh, listed. So very happy about that. Okay, some more more stuff. Um, weird. It's weird. Weird pickup. You know, another another thrift store stuff. I fi I picked up some uh, PlayStation One games, um, and most of them are new, uh, which you don't find these days. Most of them are new, and I'm not. I don't pick up a lot of sealed stuff, but. And just in case somebody needs it, next time I go to a convention, if somebody collects the PlayStation games, I'll bring them. Maybe somebody needs them. There's collectors out there for everything. But I found the, all these games at the my, one of my favorite thrift stores. Uh, first one, Dukes of Hazard, Racing for Home. Um, I have it for the Xbox, the Dukes of Hazard. I think it's the, the race for General Lee. I forgot the name of it. But I love that Dukes of Hazard game. So I said, let me try this PlayStation 1 and see how it is. Um, it's alright. I prefer the Xbox version better. And then the new games that I picked up. Cyber Tiger. Um, and you see it's funny. It's also Costco's sticker. Uh, well, they were $8.99. Um, that's funny. And all these are 99 cent. Sega Soccer Slam. These two are open. Uh, Pro Pinball. Big Race USA. And then also Pro Pinball Fantastic Journey. I love pinball games, so... Uh, when I used to live in uh, when I used to live in Virginia, I used to have a pinball machine in my house. Um, at least I think it was Lethal Weapon Two. I had and I spent hours playing that with the fellas. So, a few more sealed games: Caesar Palace Two Thousand, Monopoly Greatest Hits, and then Siphon Filter um, Three. And what's weird about it, as you can see, it's almost like a plastic, like a it's like a sticker. Where they put the greatest hits, um, letting know it's the greatest hits game. I've never seen that before. Um, that they put a sticker over the game um, showing that. So I don't know, maybe they did this for late release PlayStation 1 games, but it was kind of weird, but still sealed. So if any sealed collectors out there, let me know. Uh, we can do some trades, or I can take it to our next, uh, next convention I go to. 
Um, some other stuff that I picked up. Uh, Getaway Black Monday. I played the first Getaway on PlayStation 2. The first Getaway that they had, I played it. It was pretty cool. It's kind of like open world, almost like True Crimes, um, Grand Theft Auto type game. I didn't know they had a sequel to it, so I'm very happy to check this out and play it. I had a lot of fun with the first one many years ago. Another pickup that I got on uh, while I was in Vegas, Scorcher. Needed this for the Sega uh, Sega Saturn. Uh, haven't had a chance to play it yet. It looks like it's a racer, so uh, looks like I have fun with this. And let's get to some more games that um, Secret Stash Game was able to hook me up with. Um, again, if you watch his videos, he does a lot of pickups at the swap meet. He found all these games at the swap meet. Um, he asked me if I needed them. Um, I said yes, I needed them, and he hooked me up with them for a very, very great price. So again, if you take care of your friends out there, you hook people up, you give them fair deals, it's all going to come back and return. Like I always say, life is 360 degrees, everything you do comes right back around. So if you go out, if you out there giving people your friends good deals on games, it's all going to come back around. And I'm sure I'm going to find some stuff very soon. That I'm going to give to him for um, for pennies on a dollar um, because, like I said, he, he takes care of his friends that he knows are true collectors out there, not out there trying to resell stuff. So again, secret stash game, the guy's doing big things out there. Okay, so here's the games that he um, got for me: Adventures. Uh, not Adventures, but Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, I of the Beholder. I've wanted this game. I love these type of games, um, the type of gameplay where, um, you know, you're going through a dungeon. It's, I love those type of games. So definitely got that for me. Needed it. Blades and Dragons. I remember playing this on the PlayStation years ago, so I'm glad to be able to try it again on the Sega Saturn. Resurrection Rise 2. Um, I'm sure it's not the great... Um, the best gameplay for what I'm looking at, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. A game that I've wanted to play, I just couldn't find it. The Lost World Jurassic Park. I played it, had fun with it. It's pretty funny. Um, pretty funny game, but I'm glad I was able to get it. Shanghai, Triple Threat. I can never get into this, maybe because I don't understand how to play the game. Maybe one day I will. Maybe somebody can show me, but I, I cannot get into it. I, I can't figure it out. And then Hair of Zendor, The Legend and the Land. I haven't had a chance to play this. It looks pretty cool. At least um, the, the footage on the back. I can't wait to try it out and see if it's good or not. But it's made by the people that make some of my favorite games. Dragon Warrior. Um, not Dragon Warrior. Dynasty Warriors and all those uh, Kessing games. So hopefully it'll be good. Again, thanks Juan. Uh, some other stuff that I have here. Some stuff I got you know, from, um, from uh, the mail. Um, some stuff I picked up online. Tiny Tank. Got that. It was a free game. I entered a raffle for that and got a free game. And then one I was very happy to get. Um, been looking for this game for a very, very long time. And I'm very, very happy to find this on Sega CD. And that is Time Gal Complete in Box. Um, I played it. It's pretty funny. Uh, I had some fun playing it. Even the wife was interested in it when I was playing it, and she and she was get she was interested in it, which is rare for the wife to be interested in video games. But um, I had a lot of fun playing this time, gal. But glad to get it complete in box. Very happy about that. Uh, let's see. Keep on going. Um, got a game. I have it for the Sega Genesis, but I wanted it for Super Nintendo. And there's a there's a new store at the new online store. McFly, 8-Bit Avenue, Google it, check it out. He has a great selection of items. All his prices are below price charting. Very good deals, great customer service. Um, the, dude's, the dude is doing some good things out there for the community. And I love it when stores are able to, when we have new stores out there that are treating gamers fairly when it comes to prices. And I was able to get Sparkster from him for a great price. Um, game is in excellent condition. Again. 8-Bit, 8-Bit, eight eight my flies, 8-Bit Avenue. Um, I'll put the link to a store below so you can check it out, pick up some good items from there. But again, um, the guy is doing big things, selling games for a very, very cheap price. He's hooking up all the collectors out there. So again, I appreciate it. Uh, retail. I got a retail item here. Um, not, not a retail, but um. Uh, a new release side, but I haven't played it yet. I'm still going through my backlog, but I, I, I had to pick it up before the limited edition was gone. I got from my local GameStop, and that's Life is Strange, um, limited edition. So I'm going to get into this very soon. 
Um, but yeah, I had to get it. I want to get it before the limited editions were gone at the local GameStop, and I'm glad I did because when I got there, um, there was only two left, so I grabbed one of them. And then a game that I got, but and I'm glad I got it when I did, um, is Pikmin 3. Um, but it's funny because the we have the Nintendo Select version that just came out for 1999. I wasn't going to pay what was what this was going for before the Nintendo Selects were announced. I think it was, I think it was fifty six dollars was going for. I said, no, I said I'm not going to pay that. So I got this for fifteen bucks, cheap, cheap, cheap. So very happy about that. And that was uh, another swap meet find. Um, every now and then I go to the swap meet. There's there's a swap meet that's open during the week. And it's near my workplace. So every time now and then I'll go there if I have some free time. If I leave the gym and have some extra time for us time to get to work, I'll usually go to the swap meet and check it out. Um, another item that I found to swap meet, and these are getting harder and harder to find. A lot of people don't even know about it. Um, but Xbox component cables, um, these usually go for about thirty to forty bucks if you find them out there. Um, this is my second set. Um, so I'm very happy because I'm going to use this for my, I have the Xbox hooked up on two TVs in the house. Um, one is, is all my main stuff on there and the other one is for regular playing. So I need another set, so I'm glad to find these. But usually if you find these, pick them up. You can sell them for usually 30 to 40 bucks on eBay all day. And getting down to the end. Um, getting down to the end of uh, the games that I got. Let me run through all this stuff real quick. I got some, uh, some Super Nintendo uh, stuff. Jose, my boy RM70, hooked me up with these. He asked me if I needed them. I said yes. Arkanoid, doing it again. And Battle Clash. I cannot finally pull out the Super Scope 6 that's been sitting collecting dust for years and tried out again. So, got those. Some games that I really needed and I was very happy to get. They've been on my wait list for a long time and they appeared for a great price I needed them for. Operation Lost Bomb, complete. Thunder Spirits, complete. A great game. And then D Force complete, so definitely great games that I needed um, for the collection. I had a blast. Thunder Spirits is an amazing game. Get it if you don't have it already. Um, another game that I'm f so so happy to get this game. Uh, finally get this game complete. Um, it took me a while, but I was I finally able to get it complete. The box is very hard to come by, but I was able to get it. And now the game is complete, and it's Captain Commando. So I have to gain the manual and the box now. Captain Commando, very, very happy um, to get this. And um, great game, great game. If you don't, if you can't find a card out there, you can easily um, get the um, Capcom's, uh, what is it called? Capcom Classic Compilation Volume 2 has it on there. You can get it. And like I said, the Capcom Classic Combination Volume 2 was released for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox if you want to play that game. So, I know the card's hard to find. Um, I went to Soul Calibur Gaming Expo. That was the end of January. Um, went there, um, sold some stuff I had, made some trades, hooked up some other collectors out there. Um, for the first um, Gaming Expo in SoCal, it wasn't bad. Um, my my booth, the booth that I shared with Cyphic, RUP78, Secret Stash Games, um, the booth that we shared, we had the best prices in the expo. We had the best prices. Everybody kept coming up to us and saying we had the best prices. Our prices were very fair. Um, and that's the usual we find when we go to expos. We have very good deals. Like I said, we're not trying to flip games for, for, for not trying to flip games and, and get a, a bunch of money. We're just trying to sell extras that we have or trade them to get the stuff that we need. We're not asking for a lot of money that you see a lot of people asking out there. So I did walk around the expo. There were some outrageous prices. I don't know how some of these people are affording to pay for this stuff, but teach his own. But um, there's a lot of prices that I saw there that were very, very extreme. But like I said, you know, we have great prices when we go there. We meet a lot of cool people, so I was happy with it. Um, the next SoCal Retro Game Expo, if it's around the same time, um, in 2017, I won't make it. I probably won't be able to go because I'll probably be gone from California um, when, when the next expo when the next expo happens. So we'll see. If it's early in January, I'll be able to attend before I um, before I, I move from California. So we'll see what happens. But with the prices being the way they are, I only picked up one item basically. One item on the day on that Saturday that I went. I didn't go Sunday. Cause I had family obligations, but there was an item that Jose. Um, all Rob said he was able to pick up for me while I was gone. So the item I picked up on Saturday, the one thing that I got was Harvest Moon. Um, this is the box. The only thing I needed was the box for the game. Now I need the manual, 
but I got the box for a good price, and that was it. And all the other prices, I'm telling you, all the prices were outrageous. So I said, I'm not spending my money on some of these games that I see here. Um, but that was the only thing I got. Oh, no, there's one more thing I got. I got a Halo controller for my boy Juan um, that hooked me up. I got a Halo controller, so I have four now that I need. So I have the Halo system with four Halo controllers, so I'm happy about that for the Xbox. But Harvest Moon was only item high-ticket item that I bought, and the box, uh, I forgot how much I paid for it. Um, but that was, that was the only thing I picked up. The games were just, people were, people were charging us outrageous. And uh, the day that I couldn't make it, Jose picked this up. They had a, a guy there that was selling these games, the Turtles for Time, not for resale version. Um, so, um, definitely glad that he was able to pick that up on Sunday for me. And, um, good deal. Got a good deal on it. So that's what I got from there. Um, I did get one item for my boy, um, Shaq Funaki David. He hooked me up for Mega Man 3 box there. Um, I needed it, so he hooked me up with it, and like I said, friends take care of friends, so definitely thanks, David, for that. Um, the last item that I got, and again, this is um, a box that I needed. I got this. I visited my boy, World 1-1 Games. I'll put the link down below. Um, again, um, the owner, Rudy Ruiz, there, always gives me fair deals, hooks it up. I went there. There's a lot, there's, there wasn't a lot of games that I needed, but I had some friends that needed some games from his store. So I basically picked, well, picked up some games that he had for my friends. And also I got some that I needed. And that was the Zombie Nation um, box. I needed this. Uh, and he gave it to me for a steal. So I'm very happy that Rudy hooked me up. Again, World 1-1 Games out there. I'll put his link down below um, for the store. Check it out when you get a chance. The guy has great prices. Also, he's looking for he's looking for some good stuff right now. He needs some Sega Saturn and TurboGrafx-16 stuff. It's selling like it just sells out. Once he gets it, it sells out at his store. So if anybody has any extra items, TurboGrafx or Sega Saturn th items, please, I'll give you uh, I'll give you the name of the store below. Also, he has an email address um, and a website. So I'll put that down below too, so you can contact him. He's desper he desperately needs some Turbo and Saturn because it's selling out. As soon as he gets it, it's gone in five minutes. So definitely check him out. Again, these are all the pickups for January and February. I'm going to try to get back on my regular schedule where I do a mid-month or end-of-month pickup video. We'll see. I've just been so busy playing games, catching up on my backlog. Um, and that's what's more important. If, don't, if you're buying games, you should be playing it. Not for them to collect dust on your shelf. So again, thanks for checking out the video. Um, also... I'm going to start posting stuff on Instagram. I just started a post. I've been posting on Instagram the past few weeks. If you want to see what I pick up, it's items that I get before these videos, check out Instagram, Air Force Shields. Just look for that, and I'll post some items on there. Also, you'll see some items that I pick up, and some of those items I'm are, I've already traded for other things that I needed, so you might not see it in these pickup videos. So definitely, Instagram, um, check me out, Air Force Shields. And also, um, what I'll do, I'll post a picture of uh, World War One Games, um, their, their card where it has all the information on there and also I'll see if I can get a card from McFly's 8-Bit Avenue or something where I can put on there to show everybody hey this is the store you need to go to to pick up some games again thanks for watching and I appreciate um, everybody that's, uh, that was sending me messages saying hey when is next video coming is everything alright with you I've been fine just playing video games and uh, having fun with them so everybody YouTube world take care and I'll see you in the next video coming very soon